Hello, Rani AK Steve Messiah, and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. Now, today I want to just take you through the basics of your ship systems, how to control them, and your ship HUD. Now, pretty much your systems can be broken down. Oh, oh, so far already we have the power, the weapons, and the shield. These are the three systems we have available to us at the moment. Weapons obviously consist of your mounted guns up there and on the top and your missiles your shield well obviously that's your shield <clears throat> like so and then power is your main thrusters and your maneuvering thrusters so when it comes to the hood you can actually play around with these already to enter free look mode which is important you double tap your alt button so now I'm controlling my ship with my mouse if you double tap the alt button you have a free look around your ship now the way to get into your your hood which we've had this update for this new hood a while back it's still in work in progress but it works really well at the moment so if you hold down the alt key it'll zoom you in to your main ship panel which is here and here you've got your overview your weapons your power and your shield. So the overview generally gives you a look. Let me just turn my um, my weapons back on again. So this gives you your weapons here, your your power here. This is between each one. I think G1 is your weapons, G2 is something like your shield, and then this is your, your power. So currently, they're all across the board, evenly spread, and then your shields are here. And you can change where you want your shields to be located. Now, when it comes to the Alt zoom in, depending on what panel you're looking at, if you hold Alt and you're looking at this panel or that panel, it'll zoom in to this particular panel. Any other place you're looking at, it will zoom you into the main panel. doesn't matter where you're looking at, as long as you're not looking, you know, except for that. But anyway, um, so yeah. The other way to zoom in on your panel is to scroll wheel forwards, but this does not give you as, as close a look as it would do holding Alt. So I suggest getting into free look, double tap the alt, and then hold it down, and you can now do whatever you want to do. From here, with we with the overview panel, you can actually turn any weapons you want off. You can keep some on, you can turn them off. If you scroll down here, you've got your quad platform. For now, for some reason, when you turn your ship weapons System. offline, it seems to turn on your uh, your quad your uh, missile launchers, and then if you turn them off, it'll swap them out again. A bit unusual, and I'm sure they'll change that. But you can turn them all on by doing this. And I think when you start in Crusader, it actually turns off every single missile launcher automatically. So you'll have to go into that and turn it on. You can also see the power here, which I think there is a way of altering it. Let me just have a fiddle around. Yeah, as you can see, if you press 1, 2, or 3, it will alter them the power groups, depending on how long you hold your finger down, but it is very quick. Uh, if you want to reset them all to 33 each side, you press 0 on your key, on your, well, on your top row. I don't know if it works with the other ones. No, your numpad, it doesn't work with, so you have to use your top panels for the uh, wrong button. You have to use that. And also, when it comes to your shield, which is this one here, if you press... Eight, it'll take you to the, the 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 front shield. Two will take you to the rear shield. This is using the numpad. Then you've got left and right with the four and six button. And then if you press five, it'll zoom you. Well, take you straight to the center again. These are sort of quick on the fly ways of doing it. Um, it's quite useful if you're trying to escape people. You can always stick it right to the back so that you know. You'll have more of your shield focused on the rear of your ship. And if you're planning on dive bombing into people, then put it right to the front. And then when you've finished, press 5 and it'll alter it straight to the middle again. Very, very useful. Now when you go to the weapons panel, this just gives you all the weapons. Here we are. And it tells you what button is allocated to which. So I think this will be your left mouse button... Then two will be your uh, your right mouse button, and then three is whatever you've allocated it to. I know on my joystick, my trigger button is, is number one, and then my secondary fire button is number two. You can put them all to number one, and this will allow you to, to just use your trigger. If we have a look. 
They all fire. At once. No, wrong, wrong screen. If you put them all to two, and I can imagine what's going to happen, then the trigger no longer fires any weapons, but the number two fires them all. Now, the good thing about allocating different, different keys to different ones is that if you've got a ballistic weapon and a laser weapon, it's useful for knowing which one's which, because to take down a shield on a ship, you're best off using an energy weapon. So if you stick to firing your energy weapons to start with, and then once your shield is removed, switch to your ballistic weapon, it will save am ammunition, uh, save time, and it'll also just get the shields and the ship destroyed quicker. You can also, I think, eventually allocate them down here like this, but for now, or you can group them, that's right, you can group them up, but so far, there isn't really anything I can do with that. It's not activated. I don't know what this circle, and I don't know what this is going to be for yet, but we'll see. Now, when you go to power, this is pretty much the same as this. So, if we can zoom in as much as possible. So, if I press 1, you will see this go into the top corner, this panel here, which is your power, I believe, your throttle, going straight to 100%. If we press 2, it'll change that to there. I think this is your shield. And then, obviously, you press 3, and it does that as well. So, if you press 0, it takes you straight back to the same one again. You can turn them off here, or your weapons. You've got them all lined up there. Let's put them all back on again. You can turn your shields off there, and you can turn your thrusters. So you only have the two main thrusters. It doesn't seem to allow you access to your manoeuvring thrusters yet, but again, that will probably come later on. This, I've not really had a play with, but I assume it means you can have... You can turn all your systems off here, and you can allocate as much or as little as power as you want. I seem to get them back on. Oh, yeah. you just got to try and swing it around again. It's a bit awkward, but there we go. It works. When you got a shield, this gives you the potential shields. You've got 100% health, and then you've got your power. So your health is how much health that shield has got. It will lose it as, as it gets hit. But this is where you've allocated all your power to. So obviously it's split evenly across the front, the left, the right, <laughs> the way around, and the rear. So they're all got 25% power each. You can, as I say, just stick it all the way to the front. And you'll see, for some reason, that has 55, this has 15. So you can't put 100% on one at the moment. Let's just put that back into the center. But yeah, over time, this will drop if you are taking hits and so forth. So that's how you use your main hood. Why is that off? Very useful to know that it's quick on the fly. If you hold down your alt key, it'll take you in on it anyway. Now, when it comes to these separate panels, you've got four panels around here, which you can actually choose what you want on. This is target status, which I think I would prefer to leave that as target because that seems to be where I look now automatically for targeting. Down here, you've got fuel. Fuel isn't in at the moment. I mean, boost is, it's, well, it is in, but it's not allowing you to refuel and so forth, so I wouldn't really worry about it. You've got ship emissions. Now, this is interesting. When, when you have your emissions up, if I turn all my systems off, so the four is for weapons. I don't know why that one isn't switching off. I've bollocks the whole ship up five is for your shield and you'll see the emissions are dropping slightly because now the shield is no longer on but the main big use of emissions is your your engine so now i cannot move i can turn my my throttle up to full and i don't move for some reason that just suddenly switched itself on again i don't want it to come on I think it's still a bit glitchy. But now you can see the emissions I'm giving out are 9 on the infrared. Just turn my shield up. And that's dropped to 230 from about, what was it, at before? Yeah. So when you've got your shields on, you, your electromagnetics give off 400 emissions. And your infrared, with everything turned on, gives off about 169. It will, deter, it will differ between ships. But this is a good way of hiding from a ship. If you see a ship coming towards you, you can switch all your systems off and you'll go invisible, technically. So they won't see you. Now, this is your ship status. Again, it's not really working properly yet. I've got that over here as well, which just basically tells you your shields. That's your front, left, right, and, and rear shield. And then you have your targeting system again. So this gives you your power. 
Again, when you alter it around, you can see it changing. And you can do that funny little circle thing, but I ain't going to touch that. But yeah, so you actually get to, to change around things. You can actually have every single panel on something different. This is your hull status, so if you start taking damage, it'll show you where you're taking damage. Definitely worth knowing and worth noting. And just getting used to playing with, because at the moment, it's quite straightforward. Because we only have the three systems, there isn't really much to do. So get to know them now. Get used to your your emissions, knowing what you're giving out. Get used to how to change your power groups, everything. Because over time, they'll bring in other systems, which will just get a little more complicated if you haven't learnt these already. Anyway, let me know if I've missed anything out. Like the video, comment and share. And I shall see you next time in the verse or in Crusader. Thanks for watching.